Okay, so I've got a pretty nice polish on this now. It's not absolutely flawless. It's gonna get better every time I do it. But uh, ready to sharpen. This uh, blade was not particularly dull, but um, could stand a little touch up at the edge. As I mentioned before, it's just some little uh, little microchipping and stuff. So I've got my thousand grit whetstone here. I swear here the bottom. And uh, so just sharpening the coba now, and this means the tiny micro bubble at the edge, which means we're lifting, we're lifting the knife up a few degrees from the uh, polishing angle, from the bevel angle. And the best way to do this is just basically like this. Just make sure that whole edge contacts. You just want to feel a tiny burr on the back side. Just about. Do a little more, a little bit more right in the tip. You can do back and forth. Could be advantageous sometimes. Like that. The the micro bevel is just like a little hair's breadth wide and raises just a very, very tiny teeny tiny burr on the back. Okay. Stone. Put the stone aside. I'll clean these later. I'll go to the 4000 grit. Swear de Bato. And uh, on this stone, I will do a very gentle deburring of the backside after I, or uh, I should say, before. So now we finally get to the Urayoshi. And once your Urayoshi is nicely established and flat, there's no need to. You, you want to preserve the life of your knife by not over grinding your Urayoshi. And so it's best to just stick to your fine stones, take it light, and uh, don't overdo it. And a little bit more. That's it. This. That point, you should feel no burr on the back. The edge should feel very sharp, toothy. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, do the Koba on the 4000. Raising just a tiny burr. Taking off an incredibly, incredibly small amount of steel here. This is uh, this is a very, very tiny little, uh, <laughs> a very, very tiny little bubble. So, very no, no excess pressure. Just basically the weight of the blade. If that, with a heavy knife like this, you may even want to uh, lift up on it a bit. Set that aside. And now for finishing the Nanawa Snow White 8000. And uh, I find this stone really benefits, before you start in on it, really benefits from being uh, rubbed down with a Nagura appropriate grit. And uh, just getting that surface really polished and get a little slurry raised up much water as necessary to get get some slurry raised up on the surface before you start in. The problem with fine stones and fine negroes is they get they can get really uh, vapor locked. Let me give this a quick rinse here, some clean fresh water. And now and now the surface should be oh yeah just glassy smooth and that's what we want. So do the very light, 
Very light Urayoshi sharpening on the back. It's looking very nice. A little bit more water. I should I usually soak this stone for just like three to five minutes before I start. It seems to help. Even though it, it really is a splash and go stone, but it helps it to uh, not get quite as sticky. Okay, a little bit more tippy tip here. This knife had a very, very slight bend in the tip, so I have to, I have to lift the handle just a teeny tiny bit to get the tip of the Uroyoshi. Okay, and now finish this. Very, a very fine polishing of the of the very edge of the edge. Now you can continue this up into higher grit stones too if you want. That feels very nice, very nice indeed. Oh yeah. So sharp. All right, let's just do. I'm a big fan for the final deburring. This little pressure out out toward my edge, and then I like to just do a little kind of a stropping pass on the back of the knife, just to make sure there's no burr we don't want clinging back there and then one very very gentle deeper on that side and that should be it let's cut something and see how I did all right get it nice and dry Love how that polish is looking. It's not absolutely flawless, but it's uh, it's pretty good. I don't usually. You can you can strop single doubles. I don't usually bother. Because usually, if you finish on a, with this hard steel, if you finish on a fine enough red stone, uh, it's typically not an issue. catching there. You may have to do a little more deburring. That's why I always cut tusk before I before I stop. So let's get that 8,000 back out. Get a little it's kind of wanting to stick on me. I'm gonna um, get my cleaner stone out here and just uh, give the surface a little cleany clean. And then rinse this off. I find uh, well, one thing about this uh, Snow White 8000 is that the surface does need perhaps more than its share of uh, conditioning before use each time. That is, it gets, can get, oh, that's much smoother now. I should have done that first. So. Get a beautiful, smooth, crisp edge on the back, and one final quick deep burr stroke or two on the front on the Koba, and then I uh, should be good. I mentioned before that the Urayoshi on this knife had gotten rather wide, and uh, indeed it has. And part of the part of the downside of that is uh, that it makes sharpening more difficult. 
in the sense that the uh, you'll get uh, vapor lock on that back side on on some uh, very fine mud stones. So having a thin a thin little uroyoshi is. Definitely a good thing. One more. No pressure. I'm actually holding the knife up now. Okay. Let's try that. <clears throat> See if it's a little better this time. Oh, yeah. Very nice. So that's, uh, you know, it's about a pound and a half of serious tuna carver here or other large fish, chicken, vegetables, whatever you want to use it for. So, so, so oh, I got the paper wet with my hand here. Oops. That's, there we go. So that's that. That's how I. That's how I do it. Basically, the kind of the the short and dirty version. Um, necessary coarse work on a coarse stone, and then I use the small stones going up the grid to polish and refine the geometry on the bubble, get a nice kasumi finish, and then I sharpen the koba and the uroyoshi, and then uh, deburr on the finest stone until it cuts nice and smooth, and. That's how that's how I do it. So, um, hope you all have a good weekend and happy knifing, happy sharpening, happy cooking, happy eating, and all that. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.